I'm Basha Sokolowska taking you through my creative alphabet. This video is about sun prints. I talked about sun prints of plants that I made for um, Anna Atkins as a tribute to Anna Atkins in an earlier episode of my creative alphabet titled Green Glory where I explain the process of making sun prints in, uh, uh, in great detail. Uh, but here what I would like to focus on is the fact that sun prints uh, are actually shadows. Uh, this is a shadow of a plant on a photographic paper which was just fixed so we can see now that the sun is no longer shining on, on the plant put, up, put on, a, <clears throat> on a sheet of uh, paper. In that sense all photographs are sun prints. Um, they are <clears throat> images etched by uh, the sun on a photosensitive uh, material, whether it's uh, um, a photographic film or um, a photosensitive paper, uh, or whether it's a digital sensor. It doesn't matter, the, the uh, um, process uh, is exactly the same. Uh, of course, we don't think about it when we deal with uh, photographs um, uh, these days, photographs taken by uh, mobile phones or photographs that we looked uh, on our computers. But um, all photographs are shadows uh, in that sense. And, and I think that uh, aspect uh, can be um, experienced in slowing down the photographic process uh, making some prints of, of plants or other objects is a very good way of, of uh, experiencing, experiencing it as well, as well as photographing with a pinhole camera where uh, the experience of the image uh, being etched uh, in a very, very simple, primitive way uh, on, on photographic paper or film is much more uh, direct and easily experienced. Uh, one thing that uh, um, is, I think, inherent in photography um, as a shadow that is fixed on the uh, surface um, is uh, uh, the fact that photographs are quite ephemeral. Uh, photographs which haven't been uh, fixed uh, well uh, in the darkroom, they will fade um, in the same way billboards, uh, colors on billboards fade or outdoor posters fade after a while. And I think that uh, is actually quite, uh, uh, quite a good quality. We have so many images around them. I have, uh, I have uh, a lot of images that I took uh, photographs, that I took uh, as assignments and uh, and uh, I have to dispose of them. They are shadows of reality of other people's homes that have been fixed on uh, transparency. Some of them are very beautiful, some of them are not. And the question is, what do you do with all these shadows? There are not all shadows worth keeping, even if they are beautiful. So um, they are going. They are going to make room for more photographs, more shadows. And that's how it works, really.